At the peak of its growth, NVIDIA stock traded at $140.76 per share. It was June 18, 2024. Since then, the stock has been ranging between $120 and $135. A couple of times, it also traded below $118 per share. Once, on July 9th, it tried to break through its all-time high but retreated only to close the session at $134.91. It is not at all unlike NVIDIA. The stock has seen several phases of stagnation before, but it overcame all of them to gain an enviable 100% only in the last six months. However, some of the points leading to the latest stagnation, which has been termed NVIDIA stock fatigue by various financial market commentators, cannot be overlooked. What is NVIDIA stock fatigue and what are the reasons behind it? As you can understand, a stock cannot grow forever, whatever its fundamentals. At some point, it must slow down. It is not that it cannot grow anymore or has lost its way. The thing is that institutional investors have a limited amount of money for NVIDIA. Even if it promises an extraordinary return, they cannot invest all their money in one stock. Retail investors have even less money than them. If they invest in NVIDIA, they cannot invest, for example, in Spotify. If they invest in Spotify, they cannot invest in NVIDIA. It bothers me a lot when I invest more than $25,000 in one stock. As an investor, I have to be reasonable. When a stock grows enough, I pull out some money from it and invest it in another stock that offers me an equal opportunity, if not more. I do that to diversify my portfolio. That may be the case with many individual and institutional investors. Secondly, I believe that almost all investors who want to take a position in NVIDIA have already taken a position in it. NVIDIA is not a new company or a new stock, at least to investors. It has been in the news for years now. It constantly made headlines recently for overtaking Microsoft as the most valuable company on earth, doubling its market cap within a year and splitting its stock 10 for 1. New headlines do not draw any more investors' attention these days, which means not a lot of money is pouring into it like before. Thirdly, investors like to take profits when a stock grows unexpectedly well and when a lot of money is at stake. That's why we have pullbacks. Pullbacks are good, as they offer opportunities to new investors to take a position. But for investors in profit, taking money off the table is more important than thinking about what would happen to the stock if they did so. Fourthly, much has been said about NVIDIA being in the middle of a chip war between the USA and China. The rhetoric in this regard is often very crude. No company wants to be a victim of any geopolitical crisis, but NVIDIA cannot not be a party in this simply because of the products it makes. It would not be an exaggeration to say that a company like it can create a civilization and also advance it. At the same time, its absence can destroy a civilization, giving rise to another superpower in the world. President Donald Trump's nomination for the 47th President of the United States has made the geopolitical tension more real than it has historically been. Investors do not want to be involved in this debate. They want to make money and run away. Finally, NVIDIA has a float of over 23 billion shares. That is a lot of shares. You need $23 billion to push the stock upward only by $1. This money has to come from investors like you and me. Compare this float to Supermicro Computers and Micro Strategies floats. Supermicro has a float of 50 million shares, while Micro Strategy has only 15.72 million shares available for trading. All these roadblocks have affected NVIDIA recently and may affect it for an unforeseeable time. If you are an NVIDIA investor and have not locked in some profit already, you should do so without delay. All you need is a collar, which will allow you not only to lock in the profit, but also catch any growth NVIDIA may have in the coming days. 
See this video if you are not familiar with collars. It will show you the entire strategy step by step. If you have not already taken a position in NVIDIA but are interested in doing so, you can buy the stock at a much cheaper price than its current market price. Watch this video to see the strategy. This strategy will also help you minimize your loss if NVIDIA declines to a lower price in the near future. That is all for today. If it has been of any help to you, please like this video. Also, subscribe to my channel to watch videos on individual stocks, trading strategies, and investing. This is a new channel. Your subscription is very important to me. Every subscription is a special gift. Happy trading. Happy investing.